Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's here. Hey, what's going on, guys? How we doing? Man, it's here. So we have Yankees, Red Sox. We've got Devers up here. Man on first base. Devers is going to hit a ground ball to DJ LeMahieu at second. He's going to turn the double play right here. Okay, so let's talk about, we'll watch this again for a second. Devers is upset. He's been off to a tough start, um, but he's not too happy right there. But good double play turn here by LeMahieu, and I want to talk about the feed. I want to talk a little bit about the shortstop position. You know, we've talked about this stuff in the past, but I thought this was a good shot, seeing it live from uh, from LeMahieu of the Yankees. So anytime a ball is hit, as a second baseman, where I'm going to move to my left, when I field this ball, I'm going to pivot my feet. So notice how he fields this ball. Now, it's a pivot. So when I pivot my feet, when they come down, I should be lined up right here to throw to my target. Okay? For me, this is the quickest way to get your feet lined up and ready to throw. So I'm going to take both feet at the same time. I'm just going to pivot them quickly. Right's going to land almost where my left foot was. Left foot's going to land almost where my right foot was. So I'm not exactly replacing my feet, but I'm pivoting, and I'm getting close to where, again, when I land, my feet are underneath me. I'm in an athletic position. My shoulder's locked onto my target. I'm ready to throw a second base right now. Now, that's the first thing. The second thing is notice his arm action. So his arm action is lower, right? And so the key that we always talk with our infielders on, or with what we say is that we want to throw the ball uphill. I want this ball to be thrown uphill. That's not uphill. That's uphill. Uphill so that if I miss, I'm going to miss high instead of low. If I miss, I want to miss above the belt of the shortstop. And this goes from any position in the infield when I'm turning a double play. If I miss, I want to miss high. It's much easier for a shortstop or a second baseman around the ball, the bag to handle a ball that's up high than if I stand up and throw the ball downhill, and now the ball is thrown down near the kneecaps, and then the other infielder has to decide, do I catch this fingers up, fingers down? It kind of ties the infielder up. So we're always saying stay in your legs. You're going to use a lower arm slot. You know, it's more of a three-quarter sidearm arm slot. We're going to throw the ball uphill. Let's watch it again from this angle. Notice that ball going uphill again. So look at the arm slot when he releases, right? It's a sidearm arm slot. It's a very quick arm action. The ball is brought to the middle. Broken thumbs down. Ball stays high, right? You know, the other phrase that we use, we tell all the infielders, if you're standing in water up to your waist, that ball should never get wet. Just comes right across the chest. Thumbs down. And now from here, you can't see it. It's a tough, you know, it's a little bit of a tough angle to see. But you're just going to, your upper body, your torso is just going to tilt over a bit. The relationship between your head, or think about your nose and your hand, are going to stay the same. So the more I drop down sidearm, the more I'm going to be tilted over with my torso. Ball's fed perfectly uphill. Hits towards right in the chest. If he misses, if you miss up here, that's an easy turn. Even if you miss up here, that's an easy turn. Where it gets difficult are these balls down here, just below the waist. Because I don't know, do I catch it fingers up, fingers down? Here's another good look at it. Uphill. Look at the short arm action. Ball out of the glove, across the chest, fingers on top of the ball, thumbs down. Low arm slot, right there. Body is tilted, torso is tilted over this way. As the arm comes up higher, you'd be more upright. All right, so pretend that there's a string from your nose to the ball. That string is going to stay connected. Again, so if my arm comes up here, if I were to throw the ball across the infield from over the top, 
I would just be more vertical with my upper body. As my arm lowers down here, my body tilts over this way. And then again, from the shortstop position, how am I going to receive this ball? Well, I'm going to get to the bag. I'm going to get my right foot on the bag. I'm going to take my left foot to the ball. Right foot on the bag, left foot to the ball. I want to catch the ball as my left foot lands. Now once I catch it, I replace my feet. I bring my right foot to my left. I take my left foot to my target. So right foot to the ball, catches my foot, lands, right to left, left to target, shoulder in line, body in line to throw. I throw the ball, out. We'll watch it two more times, and then I think you guys got the picture. Here it is again. Pivot your feet, throw uphill, left foot to the ball. You put it all together. It looks like this. There we go. That's all we got. Hopefully this helps you guys out. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Give it a thumbs up. All that good stuff. Thanks to our patrons on Patreon for supporting the channel. And we will talk to you later.